Welcome to Upgrade with Dave and Sonia. I'm Dave, and today we're going to test the power consumption of this ice maker. So let's get started. This is a Frigidaire ice maker. On the tag on the back, it has two amperage ratings one that says 1.7 amps, and one says 2 amps. It says 1.7 amps for production and 2.0 amps for storage. So let's reset the meter and press and hold the reset and it says reset and then now we'll turn it on. And I'll run this for enough time to it'll shut off once this bucket gets full. So we'll see how long it takes to, to run for a full bucket and then we'll see how much power we used on the meter. So this ice maker just started. The first part of the cycle is running the pump to get water up into the top tray. And that was three and a half watts. That's very little wattage. Then the compressor kicked on. That's gonna start freezing the ice. It went over 200 watts, first split second. And right now it's about a minute in, it's 80, 85 watts. That's less than one and a half. So the bucket is full now. It's an hour and 57 minutes in. This is the tray full of ice. So it's a pretty, pretty deep tray, pretty wide. A lot of ice in there. About every 12 minutes we get one batch of two, four, five, nine cubes. So every 12 minutes we get nine cubes. And let's look at the meter. We have an hour and 58 minutes of elapsed time. And then 14 volts at my house. That would have cost three cents to run at a 20 cent rate. And we've used 0.19 kilowatts. So it's 190 watt hours. So since the tray is full, it's done running until some of the ice melts. The longer it sets, the ice melts, the water and storage gets colder, each future cycle will be quicker. So just to see how much we use, I'm going to let this run overnight. I'm not going to take any ice out of it. We'll see how much it uses, how much power it uses for a longer period of time. And then we'll show those results here in the morning. So it's been 10 hours now. There's a little bit of fresh ice inside. So lapse time is 10 hours. Four cents on regular utility cost. 0.24 kilowatt hours. So in summary, this ice maker used 190 watt hours of electricity to produce its first bucket of ice, which took about two hours. It used another 60 watt hours of power to maintain it overnight for a total of 10 hours. So if you're a heavy consumer of ice, this ice maker could use 100 watts of power for every hour that you're making ice. If you're not a heavy consumer, you would just maybe start this up whenever you wanted ice. So once in the morning, once in the afternoon, run it for an hour each time, and it's similar to running a coffee pot. So please subscribe to the channel through this link right here and watch more videos through this link right here.